Now, if there's one thing the election has shown is that Republicans really do hate Obamacare. In fact, they can't wait for you to for, for, for them to repeal Obamacare. The voters overwhelmingly, man, voted for Republicans to get rid of this damn Obamacare, right? Now, of course, when the Senate, when the Senate released a, uh, I'm sorry, when the Senate passed a full repeal of Obamacare, conservatives everywhere, Twitter, Facebook, uh, started to celebrate. Now, I have the example of one such Republican voter. Now, he starts by posting uh, an article from C-SPAN um, that says that the Senate had basically passed an Obamacare reveal, or, or I'm sorry, repeal. Now, uh, he says, one step closer to fixing this mistake and only a couple weeks left of Barry's regime, 2017 is already looking up. Now, of course, this guy has what seems to be liberal friends who happen to have called him out on this. And I've got some examples of this um, that I want to show you. Now, you can see uh, this image is the article from C-SPAN. And one of his friends points out, really cool of you to treat those of us who need the assistance provided by the ACA with such disregard. Really sells that whole underlying theme of Republicans acting like uh, vindictive cunts for every perceived slight at the hands of Democrats these past eight years. It's a party that now openly celebrates the misfortune of others while simultaneously patting themselves on the back for making progress. So, ouch, man. That's pretty harsh, but true. True. That's exactly yeah, I mean, what the Republican plan is. Very accurate. Yeah, it, it seems accurate to what the Republicans are actually trying to do. So, I mean, because look, this guy is celebrating the end of health care. But wait. But wait. I've got another image here. Uh, this one says, now, it, this guy responds to his friend. And he says, Jesus, where, where to start? First, we're talking about Obamacare, not the ACA. Secondly, my health insurance is through the ACA, so I'm definitely not the kind of person to look down on others for needing help. Well, oh, well thank God. Wah, you know, wah, as long as you wah. clarified that. Now, he says, I'm, I'm just saying I'm glad this is finally happening because Obamacare was a failure from the start. Remember healthcare.gov? All this was the brainchild of liberals, and they couldn't even get the site to run right. So why should any of us have faith that they could get socialized health care? We didn't, and they couldn't. Again, it was a mistake that is finally being fixed. And so <laughs> there is so much wrong there that, look, I've got to start. I, I can't help it. i got to break it down. So obviously you're starting out with the whole premise that uh, – that market-based healthcare is somehow socialism, which this guy claims it is. But again, he doesn't know what the ACA is. He doesn't know what Obamacare is. Second, it's not the brainchild of liberals. The ACA, as we pointed out many times here on the show, and you could find out, I mean, the Heritage Foundation came up with this plan, instituted it in Massachusetts under Governor Mitt Romney. This was Romney care. Okay. Yeah, it's Mitt Romney's plan with a few tweaks here and there. That's it is. pretty much what it is. Essentially. So, and of course, finally, the most obvious part of this is the ACA is not equal to Obamacare. Or, or, or it is equal. This is the, the same thing. They're the it same is. thing. Yeah, this, the guy same thing. Think, this guy thinks it's not equal, but it is equal. It's the same thing. There's no difference. And, but when you call it the ACA, of course, um, Look, you know, you call it the, the, it's the ACA, okay? They call it Obamacare. Now, low-information voters, they're sitting here and they're looking at this saying, well, I like my insurance through the ACA. It's actually more affordable. Or if you're in Kentucky, I love my Connect, man. But that Obamacare, I hate that. Oh, man, I hate that Obama. Get rid of that socialism, that failure. It's so absolutely awful. We got to repeal this and replace it. But wait a minute. Again, it's the same thing. Now I've got well, one it more. It just shows it just shows how uh, still effective right wing propaganda is. It is. I, I mean, places like Fox News and stuff they refuse to call it anything but Obamacare, and they right. do it for that sole reason. You know, I, I stopped saying Obamacare a long time ago because it was actually somebody, and this was like when it was first implemented. I did a video about it. Um, and I just referred to it as Obamacare because I would use the two terms interchangeably. And one yeah. of my uh, one of my subscribers was like, you know, I'd appreciate it if you would have said the, the Affordable Care Act. And at first I was like, sure. why? Like, what's the big deal? And, and they kind of said, no, it is a big deal because people, Obamacare is a term 
that is used to further propaganda. Because, you mm-hmm. know, there, there are some people, no matter what Obama does, they're against it uh, or they're programmed to be against it. So by calling it Obamacare, and it's been effective to the point where people don't know that, quote, Obamacare is the Affordable Care Act. That's the proper <laughs> word for what it is. It's the Affordable Care Act. Right. Obamacare and- is a made-up media thing. Right, and this and this next uh, image really kind of displays that whole thing. Now, this last one it says, wait, if you're on Obamacare, why the fuck are you celebrating the outcome of this vote? If the Republicans get what they want, you'll lose your insurance, which is true. The this guy, guy responds, has an interesting mix of smart and dumb friends. Because he, yeah. he has, if, as you can see by the likes, he has four really stupid friends. <laughs> well, yeah, the, the guy says, I'm not on Obamacare. My health insurance is through the ACA, which is what they had to come up with after Obamacare crashed and burned as bad as it did. So I'm going to be fine. No, dude, you're not going to be fine. 20 million other people are also not going to be fine. And again, behold the power of propaganda, as you said. And look, this guy probably sits there and he watches Fox News and reads the Daily Caller and reads Breitbart and thinks... That damn Kenyan Muslim socialist and his failure of Obamacare. Can't wait to get rid of it. Got to get rid of that then he has, socialized health care, but I love that ACA. Got to keep that. And then he has four friends he can talk to about it. <laughs> and two that are like, dude, you're uh, you're warped. Or like, however many it was that commented. It looked like two, but I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's two, like, yeah, it, there, there were two other friends that were like, whoa, dude, no, you're absolutely wrong. <laughs> like, you don't know what you're, you don't know what you're talking about. Uh, you know what? Friends fact check friends. That's right. You 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 Google something before you hit that like button. Fr- friends don't let friends uh, say stupid things. Say stupid shit. So, but again, and look, um, here's the other thing, right? Now, these people, they don't realize that they've been fooled. The ones that sit there and, and uh, you know, watch this Fox News and, 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 you know, get told that Obamacare is a absolute failure it has its issues it's got a lot of issues issues that can be addressed and need to be fixed instead of just trashing the whole thing and starting over from scratch and essentially doing nothing and I, and look ron i know you're uh i know you're pretty skeptical at the whole idea i keep saying that i really do think that they want to get rid of uh the aca full repeal i know you're you're saying that no i, I don't actually believe it because donald trump's got business interests in that and i get that right so here's what I think is going to happen, though. I, I don't think they'll actually try to do it until after the midterms because they know that they've sold people a load of crap. And, and you know, once people realize that, they're going to want to vote them out of power and they want to retain mm-hmm. as much power as possible. And they know that repealing the ACA would actually be very unpopular as it stands because, look, everything in it, Almost everything in it, except for the individual mandate, is actually very, very popular. Ironically, of course, the mandate's the one thing that actually makes the rest of the law actually work. You know, the stuff that you like doesn't work without the mandate. Everything just kind of falls in on itself. So that's why a mandate is actually necessary. You need to have healthy people in the insurance market. Without them, the prices are going to go sky high. This is what happened before the ACA, before health insurance reform. But again, a lot of people just don't seem to understand that. Because well, and the reason I was like hoping for what I hoped is because you know, mm-hmm. first of all, he has those financial ties to the system, saying the way it is, meaning uh, Affordable Care Act is in place, and also uh, he's already backpedaled on it. Uh, Donald Trump did. But I mean, I was surprised. I mean, they they went after it as early as they did. I wasn't expecting that, so you know, I'm not as confident as I once was. Um, But I think you're right, because there's already been a handful of Republicans uh, saying that they're not going to support it because there's really no plan in place. They're saying we need a solid replacement plan before we go after this, uh, because otherwise it's going to be political suicide. And and I think, you know, they're absolutely right. I mean, I I think uh, Rand Paul is one of them um, and uh, a handful of others, and and they need pretty much every Republican behind it to to get it further. So. Yeah, and you know, as far as the replacement goes, where what are they going to? I mean, where are they going to go? Like, uh, I'm I'm hearing a lot of talk about health savings accounts. 
Ooh, health savings account. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, Bush, really gonna solve any Bush problems. tried to do that. And yeah, they, you know, it was, it was very dead in the water. Not only is it though, is health savings account very unpopular with people. It's also ineffective. They've actually tried it in different places, and it's essentially failed uh, to do anything about fixing some of the issues in our healthcare system. And and again, we defend the ACA not because we believe that it's perfect. Like we're not like Hillary Clinton that's like, no, 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 you don't need to touch the ACA whatsoever. No, I think we do need to touch the ACA. We need to do a lot of fixes to it. We need to make it better and. I believe making it better would be to put in a public option and then eventually pave the way for a full Medicare for all expansion. But that's just me. Mm -hmm. And, and, and that's also, I think your position as well. Yeah, that's my position. I mean, I think inevitably we need to get to a nonprofit single payer system. Exactly. And I, I think the ACA was a baby step in that direction. Mm -hmm. And I think, yeah, the public option would have to be next. And then eventually, you know, we would have a universal system. Um, yeah, and that's or we can or we can continue to be unlike pretty much every other industrialized wealthy nation. We can, they all got it wrong, but our our system where you can go bankrupt if you break your arm, that's the way to go. We got well, it right, guys. Because in America, we like to pay more and actually get less for it. Didn't you know that? Right. Because we right. care so much about health insurance company CEOs' bottom lines. We want to make sure that they don't go broke. We want to make sure that they get a healthy profit so they can buy a second yacht. So we're okay with paying more and actually getting less service in return. And that's what we had. That's what we still have with the ACA. But what we had even more before the ACA. And, you know, it just made several steps to make it a little bit more accessible, a little bit more affordable for regular people and still save those health insurance profits. And, and again... That's, of course, why we're sitting here saying, hey, why don't we actually do what the rest of the you know, industrialized world is doing and actually get some real universal health care up in this bitch. Hey, everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent non-corporate media, go to our Patreon page and become a patron. Patreon.com slash TYT Nation.